Today we're going to show you how to use Aristotle's canon of arrangement to write the perfect outline. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Ancient Tools of Writing series, where today we are talking about the second toolbox of writing. Arrangement is where you're writing an outline. Now I'm assuming you already know the standard outline form, so today I'm going to be giving you some additional outline styles to fit whatever you're writing. Because as we've been saying in this series, the more writing tools you have, the more flexible you can be as a writer, and the less likely you are to run into those places of, I don't know what to do next. But first, why is arrangement important? I mean, outlining seems pretty basic, right? Why have a whole toolbox about it? Why not just write your outline now in the same order your notes are in? Well, think about the movies. Have you ever seen a movie where it's 20 minutes in and it feels like something cool or funny should be happening by now, but it's still just people talking? Or the reverse of that, where things are starting to pick up, but then some character just starts explaining some long, boring story. Or where they show the monster too early and now it's not scary anymore. Or maybe there's a scene that just doesn't make sense with what happened before and you're like, well, what are they still here for? Didn't the guy just tell them where they need to go? Or, well, if he already knows about the thing, why would he do that? Or, and obviously I'm a lot of fun to watch movies with. Well, problems like that happen when filmmakers don't use good arrangement. And an essay is like a movie. Tools of arrangement, like the ones I'm going to give you in this video, will make sure your essay isn't a bad movie. Make sure you don't use a word without defining it first. Put the boring part at the beginning of the essay because you already understand why it's important. You have to guide your reader through the ideas you're presenting. And that means figuring out which parts belong in the beginning, the middle, and the end. And now, some outline shapes. Take whatever notes or papers you've got gathered for your essay, what we're calling inventory, and cut it up. Don't get stuck with this. Rearrange it, spread it out on the floor, tape pieces together until you find a shape that makes sense to you. And that might be a standard outline where each big idea is a header and each small idea is a bullet point. And when your ideas are all cut up like this, it's easy to switch those around or combine two headers into one or whatever else you realize you need to do. But I'm going to give you some less conventional shapes you could use. Maybe one of them will help you hit that sweet spot where your whole essay becomes clear in your mind and you say, I know exactly which words I want to use to express this in the final draft. That is the secondary goal of arrangement. Here we go. Put your essay into columns, with your definitions and your new ideas and beginning-ish material in one column, the implications of those ideas in the middle column, and your conclusions in the ending column. This lets you simplify your task by just focusing on what parts go in the beginning, the middle, and the end. Because next you can go back and put each column in order, only having to think about one column's worth of material at a time. Or use as many columns as you need. Or you can shape your essay like a circle. Start with what's familiar, take your reader to what's unfamiliar, then give them the reasons that lead up to your big point. Then talk about its ramifications, and finally relate it back to how that impacts the familiar stuff from the beginning. And then there's the wave, where you sort of graph the order of your ideas horizontally, and how unexpected or exciting they are vertically. And this lets you make sure you're starting off slow and familiar before announcing what your big point is, and then building up your arguments before convincing the reader of your main point and then your reader is sort of sliding down this side with you until you show them, surprise, how it changes their understanding of the familiar part from the beginning. And all these shapes essentially do the same thing, they let you move your ideas around to make sure your essay has a good rhythm. They're just different tools to have in your arrangement toolbox, and the right one is the one that gives you the clearest picture of what this essay is going to be. And here's a side note, sometimes your ideas basically are already in order, especially when you're writing a shorter essay. Let's say you brainstormed them onto a sheet of paper like this. That's the solar system layout we talked about in the last video. You may not need to cut this up. Instead, snake a line through it to find the final order. What order do you talk about the big ideas in? And inside of those, what order do you talk about the little ideas in? Which little idea is the segue to the next big idea? And don't be afraid to bounce back and forth between big ideas. And this might sound a little nitpicky now, but the difference between this and this could mean the difference between an A and your reader losing interest completely. 
Just make sure you're reading through your ideas as if you're hearing them for the first time, and ask yourself, which part would you need to hear next? If you realize there's an idea that would make a really good transition between two other ideas, go ahead and write it down, add it to the mix. If you think of specific wording you want to use, go ahead and write that down. That just becomes another point in whatever kind of outline you have. So don't be afraid to invent the previous toolbox, or elocute the next toolbox. Along the same lines, don't be afraid to combine two categories or split one category into two. I told you in the last video you were only organizing the building materials. Well, now you're at the building site, putting up the framework of the house. You may realize that this pile of boards needs to be split into two piles because you need those boards for two different things or vice versa. And finally, don't get discouraged how long all of this is taking. One of the reasons you're doing this is so that when you sit down to write the essay, that's called elocution, and it's the next toolbox in the series, you can concentrate on how to say it instead of wondering what to say next, because you will have done all of that work at this stage. So that's our five shapes of outlines. I hope one of them gives you the tool you need to move forward on your writing project. Be sure to subscribe, don't miss our next video about elocution, actually putting words on page to write the essay. Leave us a comment with your favorite outlining tool, and I'll see you next time. Now, as you can see, the quantum mesh, the times of the acceleration of the metaphysics, will indeed enable time travel. Now, all you have to do is watch out for the exploding kittens. They're really dangerous. They get in black holes. They'll eat a hole in your ship. It's, it's horrible. Just avoid them at all costs. Okay, good.